Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. So I definitely wanted to get one out today because today is actually a very special day in the history of the channel. Today, I've actually officially been a YouTuber for two years. And in some ways, it's hard to believe that it's only been two years. And it's also hard to believe that it's already been two years. So two years ago today, started out with no audience. And I did a video on cryptocurrency, which um, I thought about just doing a video just solely dedicated to that, but I am going to talk about yield max and stuff like that because um, that's pretty much what we talk about on here. But I am going to go through a little bit of a uh, highlight reel of what all has happened over the last two years. And because um, before I got into yield max and dividends and covered call ETFs, I actually kind of used to be a personal finance channel. Um, I, I think I still am. I mean, obviously, dividends are a part of finance, but. Um, I'll go through my studio, my YouTube studio, and I'll show you all some of the some of the crazier stuff I've uploaded. If uh, those of you that really follow me close, if you ever get bored, you can go way back in the video history and see some see some different stuff. See how things have uh, changed over the years. Um, but yeah, the first video I ever uploaded to this channel was September twelfth, twenty twenty one, and it was about a cryptocurrency called um, Safe Moon, and um, I don't know why I chose that topic to be my first one, but I'm not even in that one and I don't even follow it anymore. But at that time, the whole thing was about, you know, cryptocurrencies dropping zeros and whatnot. But anyway, today's also the day that uh, the JP Morgan fund went public, which I know we talked about that on the last live stream. And then we ended up having Engineer Blake on, which that went really well. I was glad we were able to have that discussion and hope to have many more. Um, and, uh, you know, lots of great investment ideas shared and whatnot. But today is actually the day that the JP Morgan Fund went public. So let's see how it did since it went public. Um, and by the way, I see someone I haven't seen on in a while. Eat more beans. Where have you been? Unless you've just been watching and not commenting. And then I see a couple of regulars on. Um, the channel this month, I didn't want to say anything, but... Um, my subscribers have been growing a lot like the last two months. Like I added like 450 last month and added like 350 the month before. Seems like we're slowing down a little bit. I'm starting to get, I don't know why, but I'm starting to get like one or two people subscribed then unsubscribe. And I'm not sure, like I said, why that happens, but it's interesting. Who is this? This is funny. Huff's life through a camera. Welcome. Now remember, we can't go, and I thought I coached you all up on this a little bit. We can't go by the after hours with these funds because these funds do all kinds of crazy stuff in the after hours. They might as well swing from poles in the after hours, the way they go up and down. Um, but anyway, so I would say, so as far as the two year review here, um, which I'm sure is what you all tuned in to hear about, I think a lot of you misunderstood my poll, by the way, because it's like 50, I asked what's, what day is it today? And it is 9-12, but it's also my two-year anniversary, but 58% of you chose 9-12 as the answer. And the answer, it, it is 9-12, so that is a correct answer, but it's actually the channel's two-year anniversary. So, um, but really, in the last year, particularly in the last six months, the channel's seen the most growth that it's ever had. Um, I want to say we were still at like 1,500 subscribers back in March. Um I'd have to look at this point, but really after I got monetized, it took me from like September, 2021 to like May, 2022 to get monetized. And from there on, it was just slow going. I was trying to, I didn't truly find my niche until I, until I found yield max and I just stumbled across it. It was almost like a Forrest Gump moment. You know, some of you started talking about it and for whatever reason, you know, you can call it just being in the right place at the right time, but the light bulb kind of went off and I said, I need to talk about yield max. And then all of a sudden, I picked up some of my best fans, you know, that I've gotten to know, like I've gotten to know a lot of you really well now. Um, but I picked a lot of you up by talking about yield max. So, um, but there are some regulars that have been on for a while, of course, and we'll see how many, you know, we get on here in the comments and I'll see if I remember like my oldest fans in the comments, if I see them pop up. But, um, I know you've been on for a while now. Um, I just saw you today. Um, I like your name, by the way. Um, but anyway, let's look at, so the JPMO, is it our MO to buy JPMO? Knew that joke was coming, right? 
So JPMO title trust Roman numeral two was down three cents today. So we opened at 2004, 22, 24 in the after hours. But again, we can't go by the after hours with these. So um, JP Morgan stock was up to 146.34. So a little concerning because the stock was up almost $2, but the yield max ETF dropped three cents. So we kind of know how this works now. We're kind of coming becoming accustomed to this game, especially with TSLY. So Tesla, by the way, yesterday was a good day uh, for the coach, at least, because so I sold out of my, and I forget who I was talking to about this, but TSLL, I sold for a nice gain because Tesla did really well yesterday. So sold out of, I had like five contracts. Of course, that's a situation where I wish I would have had 10. But then if I had 10, it probably would have dropped, you know, so I only got five, didn't take as much of a risk because I got burned on TSLL after I had like a nice slam dunk $2,000 profit the month before I got burned by it the month after and sold for a loss. Well, this month I was back in the saddle again because I had like a thousand dollar quick gain, which is always nice, you know, for one day. Just think about if you could do that 365 days a year. Of course, the market's not open 365 days a year. It's open more like 250. But just imagine making $1,000 a day trading. That would be like $250,000. And you don't have to work. I mean, wouldn't that be Wouldn't that be great? So let's see here. Kyle7181 says, I'm expecting to get 1K next week for the payouts. Ooh, that's right. It's payday next week, isn't it? September 18th, right? So that's going to be um, next Monday. Cool. So yeah, I'm, I'll have to see what I'm getting. It's definitely going to be lower. Um, I want to say I was up to like 3000, um, in the TSLY last month, but that's because we had like a record dividend. Uh, it's probably going to be, God, I feel like the dividend was cut in half almost. It'll probably be, I don't know, 1500 or so. So, um, some drinking money. I'm just kidding. That actually would, that covers a lot of bills, believe it or not. Um, I'm not quite ready to get to a point to rely on that income. I'd like to keep, well, I used it to buy Tesla stock, you know, so, um, you know, cho choose between booze and Tesla stock, a tough choice, you know, um, short-term pleasure, long-term pleasure, right? Anyway, so, all right, what do we want to go into here? So I'll show you guys, I'll give you a little backstage tour for those of you that have toughed it out all seven minutes and 45 seconds. I'll give you guys a little backstage tour and just uh, embarrass myself here and show some of my earlier because I said when I became a YouTuber, I said I'm never taking anything down that I've posted here because when I get to be big and I'm one of these big channels, I want people to go back and see, wow, this guy started like any of us could, you know. So, all right. Um, some of this stuff is probably cringeworthy. And so I started, um, you all might be in for a special treat because I might show you all my backdrop here. I don't usually do like a home tour. Because the place is the coaching headquarters, as we call it, is kind of messy. But I started out on my um, home TV. Actually, let me do this here. We'll go on a little walk here. So I'm almost always in my kitchen. But I was going to do a video kind of like pre-prepped. But I'm not going to do that. So what we'll do, this is where I started. This is actually my living room. So my first videos that I ever did, I was in front of my TV right here. The lighting's a little off because this screen takes some time to adjust. But anyway, this is actually, so I had like a chair set up and uh, can't figure out this camera angle here. What the heck? So it's like a mirror. It's like looking into a mirror. Anyway, so behind me is my TV and um, my earliest videos that I did um, were in front of my TV. So that's, uh, this is where it all started right here. So I'm not sure why. Oh, there you go. You can see. I actually did a video there, believe it or not. Um, I had like an island background, and it was one of my earlier videos. So anyway, since it's my two-year anniversary, I just thought I would show you all that real quick. I normally don't walk around the house too much. But um, anyway, that's where it all started. And this is where we've ended up. So we've gone from the living room TV to the kitchen. Big upgrade, huh? In two years. Imagine where we'll be two years from now. Hey, in two years from now, who knows? We may, we may not even be in the same place, you know? That's a fun thought. Think about that. Where will, where will we be two years from now or even one year from now? 
it's exciting, right? Thinking about the future. So, um, oh, wow. Well, there's uh, an original fan for sure. Thanks for uh, commenting. So anyway, yeah, I rarely uh, show the house, but um, kind of focus the camera on the ceiling a little bit. But anyway, all right, so we're going to go into a little little tour here, a little backstage tour. Um, and uh, I'll show, let's see here. Because I think a lot of you that subscribe to me in the last six months, I think a lot of you don't actually know how to navigate YouTube and find some of this earlier stuff. Because out of like 370-something videos now, like the majority of stuff I've uploaded is like dead content. It gets no views at all. It's only this latest stuff that I've uploaded. So anyway, let's do this here. Let's um, do a little backstage tour here. So I'm going to share. I know a lot of you are tuned in for, you know, dividends and yield max and stuff like that, but we'll get back to our regularly scheduled programming soon. But like I said, today's kind of a special day. So here's where we are. Here's where the channel is today. I think since I did the video, so last year I did a similar video and I pre-prepped for it. So I'm going to go to the content tab here. Now this is what I see on my end. This is what I call the back end. So I think a lot of you don't know this, but there's a videos tab and there's a live tab. So 90% of what I do now is live streams. The only video I've done in the last six months is an audiobook part one for the hundred baggers book. So that's what you see here. Before then I did some silly short clips and the ones you see, cause some of you asked me like, what's the deal with these here? These don't even look like yours. So I paid some group to do edited videos for me because the experts, that tend to nine times out of 10, not be experts. You end up figuring things out on your own basically is the moral of the story, but the so-called experts with YouTube, you know, they all tell you, Oh, you need to have like fully, you know, polished, scripted, fully edited videos to be successful. Well, just look at the numbers and you can see these ones that I paid for a script. I did my own voiceover cause I'm not going to have some, some bot do my voiceover. I mean, if you want to hear that, listen to like the Geico commercials or something. Actually, that's a real person that does that. But so I, um, you know, paid for editing, which is just stock footage anyway, because, you know, you've got to get around copyrights and whatnot. So I paid for editing the thumbnails and then I did my own voiceover. Well, you can see how prolifically these videos performed. We have 85 views, 69 views. Someone want to make a joke about that? We usually get one or two. 94 views. So four videos that I paid an editor to do didn't even crack three digits. Whereas live streams, and this is what cracks me up. So live streams, when I'm talking about you all's favorite topic, the yield max funds, just standing here in my kitchen, watch this, watch the difference. Um, so the last video I did with the engineer, 1500 views, 2000 views for the one before 2300 views for the one before. So you see the difference? And I'm just standing here talking. I'm not paying for any fancy thing. Now, luckily, because I have some great fans, I have a fan helping me out with thumbnails and whatnot. So that's why you see a more professional look when you click on a video. You see a bit more, you know, polished picture and whatnot. So, and then of course, uh, here's one that had 3,000 views, almost 3,400 here. So you see the difference. So unpaid, not paying anyone for shit, basically, 3,400 views paying for quality doesn't even crack a hundred views. So there's a bit of a conundrum there, I would say. Anyway, so uh, as far as that rant, what I was getting towards is that, so this is my video tab. So, um, and then I paid that same company off and on for a few others, but if I scroll down here, so this is the video I did commemorating the one year anniversary of the channel. And I wanted to look at this because I've actually forgotten all these numbers where I was a year ago. So this one, a year ago today, I was at 1,156 subscribers. I only had 45,000 views. I had uploaded 162 videos. I got monetized May the 4th, 2022, which is really cool because I'm a Star Wars fan. May the 4th happens to be a Star Wars day. And um, like I say, sometimes you really just can't script life. If you, even if you did try, like it's like I couldn't script that if I wanted to. I got monetized on Star Wars day. How cool is that? So, and then I put one of the favorite comments I had here. Someone told me I followed your videos, recoup my losses for the year, which was a real comment. Um, not sure what video that was on now, but I used to cover a lot of options videos and stuff, options content. So someone told me like over a year ago that they followed what I said and they recovered all their losses for the year. So I thought that was pretty cool, you know, 
um, I feel like I made an impact. So anyway, that was where we were a year ago. So now, now that I looked at that, cause I completely forgot all those numbers. So what did I say we were at? We were at 2782 actually, but some, some fool unsubscribed. And I only called them a fool cause they unsubscribed and that's always a foolish decision. Um, so we've gained 1626 subscribers in a year. So that's pretty cool. So it's starting to snowball a little bit, not quite as fast as, you know, some other channels, but there's a little bit of a snowball. Cause you see, I have more subscribers now than I had my first year. So it's going to be exciting to see in year three, which officially begins after this video, we're into year three now as a YouTuber, as a community. So that's where that was. Now I'm going to go just for fun here embarrass myself a little bit. I'm going to go all the way back um, in my videos because you can see this is the bulk of what I used to do. I have 174 videos and I have 170. Oh, how about that? I almost have as many live streams as videos. 170 live streams, 174 videos. But it used to be all videos that I did because I was on Zoom. I did Zoom recordings, but my fancy MacBook, which was supposed to be top of the line, which I bought three years ago, um, it doesn't have the bandwidth to handle any more Zoom recordings, so that's why I do all StreamYard now because it's easy. No storage, no space needed, just upload, or no, there's no uploading involved. I just live stream, and then boom, once I'm done, it's it's posted to the channel automatically. It's great. So anyway, have to go back here a little bit, and some of you all, you can see I actually put more effort into some of these earlier videos than I do now, which is kind of funny because you can see some of my thumbnails that I was doing myself. Um, you can see I put a lot of work into them. Um, it's like artwork. I was doing them in PowerPoint. But anyway, so if I go back all the way here, so I'm back to, this is 2022 now. Um, if I go, let's see. You can see back in the day, I wasn't even cracking 100 views a lot of times. So there, here's my very first video here. September 12th, 2021, it was about Safe Moon. Then I did a credit card video. Then I did something about is investing risky. I did a candlestick chart video that's in front of my TV. I didn't use a thumbnail for it. I did my budgeting video where I used my infamous budget, which I'll cover in the book, The THB Method. Then I did one. There's one. I'm holding a pineapple with a straw in it, uh, like a goofball. And I have uh, my TV in the background with a picture of some, some nice island. And then I have some of them where you can tell I was trying to be funny. But... Um, you can see some of these got a, a decent amount of views. And then I covered the concept of a black swan event, covered the rule of 72. I covered my compound interest topic, which for the longest time, that used to be the channel trailer until I had Jay from Yieldmax on. Now the, the Jay video, the latest one, is the channel trailer. So anyway, just thought I would show that real quick. These are the earliest videos in the history of the channel. So happy two-year anniversary to me, right? Hey, just think maybe somebody will super chat me. Um, let's see. Good. I didn't lose anybody else. All right. Good. All right. So now we can get back to our regularly scheduled programming, right? I know that's what you all are really here for, right? So let's see. Let's catch up on comments here. Oh, we got 28 of you on. Let's see here. Um, anybody comment on... <laughs> I see a funny comment down here. None of you all congratulate me on two years. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Tough crowd. Uh, M1 finally added Apley and NVDY. I was about to transfer out, so good timing on their part. Oh, M1 Finance. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's a good um, a good app. And then this is funny. Um, I thought she would show up, actually. My electric car is in for service, so I have to drive an acoustic one. <laughs> that's funny. I've actually never heard someone make that joke before. That's pretty funny. My California friends ask if I've gotten a Tesla yet. I haven't because our electricity rates here are still... We don't pay what they pay, so it's still not quite feasible um, to drive a Tesla. But, hey, I don't want to give the electric company any ideas. I mean, keep the rates. They've already gone up like three times, but just keep them where they are. Don't go up any further, please. I'll keep my, I'll keep my gas-powered car. So anyway, all right, uh, what else? we got to discuss something. Oh, yeah, yeah, J.P. Morgan, the J.P. Morgan Fund. So let's do this here. Um, okay. We'll go to Seeking Alpha. And we just had the engineer on Sunday who writes for Seeking Alpha. So that's pretty cool. You know, that was really good. If you all haven't checked that out, that was, uh, oh, here we go. 
See, I know some of you all do follow me close because I did do that like a year ago. Um, I was actually in a friend's Tesla. That video is out there. Um, and yeah, I, uh, I, I was talking about like the fundamentals of Tesla and stuff like that. Studying Tesla stock by driving a Tesla. So um, that video is out there. So I know some of you all do follow me close. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Oh, now, now you all are commenting now. Uh, moat trading videos would be nice. What MOTE, what's, can you um, clarify? Oh, more, more trading videos, right? Well, remember, I just use to make investing decisions. I just use the advanced financial forecasting equipment, you know, that tells me if I pick like um, the latest one, J JPMO. Is JPMO a good investment? Uh, let's see. Let's see what it says. Um, it's unsure. It's un it's un it's it's undecided. Uh oh, very doubtful. So there you go. So I won't buy any JPMO. Anyway. Um, uh, well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I haven't seen you in a while. The Rex funds are going to be huge. Which ones? Oh, and join Jen is on. The Rex funds are not out yet. Why would you think they would be huge? So, see, you got to explain yourself now. Okay. Wow, we just got 40 of you on. Cool. Um, the volatility is huge on them. What are some of the tickers? Give me some of the tickers. Um, and who is Rex like the fun family or what? Maybe that's the next thing I'll cover. I've got to pivot to the next like hot topic. So, cause I think this yield max thing, I think there's so many channels covering it now. Luckily I got really lucky on that one. Um, I got, I started covering it before I, I was like one of the main channels that started covering it. So I caught, I kind of caught lightning in a bottle. That's why I grew faster, but it's starting to get to where like, there's like thousands of channels covering it now. So I'm going to get, I feel like I'm going to get buried in the algorithm a bit. Hopefully I'll hold on to all of you all that have found me, but I feel like I'm going to have to eventually pivot to the next hot topic, which might be rec shares. Who knows? They're just leveraged funds. You're the coach you should know. Yeah, I'm not, I'm also very busy too. I'm not retired like some of you all. I'd love to be retired and just sit around and trade all day and make the money some of you all make. But hey, that's the goal. That's why I'm doing this, you know? So um, let's see here. What's the fee? Who is running them and their options track record? Now, if Kathy Wood was running them, I'd be all over them in a heartbeat. And I'm sure for you, if Charlie Munger was running them, you'd be all over them in a heartbeat, right? That's a little bit of a um, inside joke between between us. Who is this? My evening just got a whole lot better since you're live. Oh, well, thank you. Um, I'm not sure I recognize your name, but uh, I'm always glad to enhance someone's evening. I used to call the channel Life Enhancing, but I changed it to Enriching because it sounds more money-oriented. And as we all know, that's really what life's all about, right? Just kidding a bit. GameStop is supposed to be won on rec shares. Oh, just what we want to trade, GameStop. We didn't uh, learn our lesson two years ago there. You can, And they're making a movie about that, by the way. That's cool. You know how many people I've had tell me, oh, that's you. I, I wish that was me. Well, not what happened to the guy, but the guy did make a lot of money before he got in trouble. You can lose your dollars twice as fast with a 2x or a 3x. Oh, I know, but you can also make it fast too. And I like to focus on the making it part, just like I do options in the UPRO because it's a 3X levered ETF. So when the S&P goes up very well, I also do like three times as good in the options. So let's see, they just look like 2X versions of Dexarion funds. Oh yeah, excuse me. I predict most will lose in GameStop. The shorts will kill them. Yeah, I mean, we didn't learn our lesson from that like two years ago. Anyway, all right, let's do a screen share here because what's a live stream without a screen share? So we'll share something dividend oriented for all of you all. Uh, let's see. Oh, I just got another comment before I screen shared. What time is it? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, let me go back here. Um, GameStop and Keith Gill had their run. Yeah, they did. Uh, how much do you have invested? Who, me? It's top secret information. Not enough. I always feel like it's not enough. Rex will have inverse as well. Oh, perfect. Well, that's great because, you know, we can hedge. Just like, so I got TSLL. That worked out really well. I need to buy the inverse one too. So that'll help preserve principle. So you know what? That reminds me. If I had more time, like if I had the, if I had the amount of time on my hands that some of you all have, 
I would be, I feel like I would be so much more productive. Um, I would have all kinds of trackers, which I've let some of my trackers, my tracking spreadsheets fall by the wayside, but I would include the trades that I made in TSLL and the other ones. I would include that because it's like I made back some of the principal I lost in TSLY. So I would include all of that as one. I have some spreadsheets that would blow all of you all's mind. Like you all think you're good at spreadsheets, believe it or not. I do it too, but I don't typically cover spreadsheets because sometimes it's, I want to, I want to keep things a little mainstream. You know, I, it's, it's good to do spreadsheets and stuff like that. It's good for like a niche audience, but I want to keep things, I want to keep the audience engaged, you know? So anyway, so every now and then we'll have a spreadsheet or strategy video. If you all want to really knock yourself out on like, brainy um statistic oriented numbers oriented stuff watch the live stream with me and the engineer from sunday because that was we got pretty high level so all right let's see look at you ten thousand shares of coney i figured you'd have a lot so dividend for october will be about 85 percent. that would be awesome it's actually lower than what we've predicted because i know some people are thinking it's going to be a dollar so let's see what's coney at i'm going to wait by the way i am trying to follow the um believe it or not i'm trying to do technical analysis as technical analysis challenged as i can be i'm trying to do it on the coney so i might get it before the next dividend date in october so anyway with that being said let me look that one up so we're at 2081 so we've gained uh since august 14th we've gained over two dollars a share so on 2081 let's let's call out damon here how many shares does he have i'm assuming let's just say he got it at 20 He's got 500 shares, um, 85. Wait, are you saying 85 cents or a dollar? So let's see. And 85% per share. Uh, hold on. I'm just going to say that you're saying a dollar. So that would be like a $500 monthly dividend for that one. Is that right? Am I do Wait a second. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Wait a second. Wow. I haven't even been drinking. A dollar per share, if you have 10,000 shares, would be, I'm sorry, a dollar per share per month. That would be $10,000 a month. That would be awesome. That's quit your job money. But wait, you already did. So anyway, cool. Well, cool. So uh, by the way, I just realized I haven't talked about the fire movement in a while, but I have to tell you, the fire movement is fire for sure. Um, so I think that with my yield max dividends while they last, I got a promotion. So I went from barista fire to lean fire. So next one is fat fire, right? And then the next one after that, you're retired, right? So it's kind of cool to move up that that chain, right? Moving on up in the world, right? Okay, so let's see here. We'll do we'll do something here, but let me catch them on comments here because I got some that I want to get to. So that's cool. Who's Delon? What are you basing Coney monthly on? Oh, there's Andre. Oh, thank you. By the way, I see you're doing yield max videos now. Um, I did message you the other day. Um, and uh, yeah, I see I see that you've... Uh, so I know you're, it's funny because I know your stance on yield max, but your video kind of makes it seem like you might actually be okay investing in it. But I have a feeling, I don't want to do the spoiler alert, but I know you're going to do a series of videos and you're probably going to get to where you say, you know, nope, don't buy yield max. But that's good for you. Like I told you, you should have been, um, you know, like, you know, cover yield max because it's obviously a hot topic. I have a feeling that the algorithm, like I'm about to get buried in the algorithm again, which I've been there plenty of times, trust me. But I think that the window for yield max is starting to close a little bit because so many channels are covering it now. So anyway, volatility and expiration dates, beta of over two, join gen just got off, going off historical data. Yeah, well, you're in the Discord, so you've seen all the spreadsheets and stuff we have in there. I have some coding. I think it should do well as the Levi Strauss of the next crypto bull run. Not sure what that means. Both Coinbase and Coney should do well. You think Coinbase? What, because of the Bitcoin having? <laughs> He's got jokes. You missed Chubby Fire. Yeah, I guess you could, if you're like in between, you could say that. All right, so let's do this here. Just so you all believe me. Not like you can look on your phone or anything, but so JPMO is real and it's here. And so this is where we were today. We uh, are at 2006. 
I don't think I'm going to buy this one. Oh, you know what? I do want to share the Discord because I think Hoffman actually posted an interesting article. He said the article said that JPMO is not based on JP Morgan at all. So let's see. Let's let's go to the Discord. Let's promote the Discord a little bit here, uh, as if we're not doing that enough already. So I think we've gotten to the point. Um, we've weeded out the characters that we needed to weed out from the Discord. So. We've got a good team again. We've got a good team of everybody. Uh, we had a few, we had a few crazies in the Discord, but I think they've actually some of them weeded themselves out. Some of them we weeded out. So good for us, right? Um, so let me let me present this here. Let's see. Uh, I think we're up to a hundred Discord members, by the way. So when I get some more time on my hands, maybe uh, I wish you know it's funny. So we can invest and. Uh, Look at that. There's a thumbnail for this video. Hold on. I don't want to share yet. Sorry. Um, I wish we could invest and like buy more time. Like we can like, you know, get more money. Uh, let's see. I got 500 shares of JPMO just to have some banking for balance. Oh, cool. All right. Let's see. Let me, let me go back to my main. Any opinions on grayscale funds? No. I know that was a bad disease in Game of Thrones, though. Financial angle of that. Not too good, probably. I do have some funny thumbnails that uh, one of you have created for me. Let's see here. All right. Uh, let me go into the main thread, and then I'll do a screen share, and then I'll probably go another few minutes and then call it call it a night here. Um, okay. Let's do this here. All right. Uh, I'm behind again. The Discord's actually blowing up again. 81. Oh, no, we're at 99. Some One of you left again. Unbelievable. So we're at 99. We were at 100. So, like, I have one person leaving, it seems like, every day. I don't know why, but, oh, well. It's a volunteer army, as they say. Uh, okay, so let's share this. Uh, I do want to see the GameStop movie starring Paul Dano as Keith Gill. Yeah, I, I can't wait. I'll definitely see it, for sure. Saw Oppenheimer. That was great. And uh, that's where I saw the, the trailer. For the for the GameStop movie, oh Jose Guzman, welcome. So you missed a ton of live streams. Now you've been on for like the last two. So cool. All right. Well, let me share this real quick, and then we'll probably call it after that. Okay. Let's see. Uh, okay. So Yieldmax. Here's the article. Yieldmax launches option income strategy ETF on JP Morgan Chase. Where did I see that at? I saw something about how. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Watch this one. JPMO does not. Oh, well, you know what? I mean, isn't that the case with all of these? They're only in options. JPMO does not invest directly in JPM. Yeah, duh, right? That's kind of how they all are. So Tesla is still our number one at 48%. Let me do this here. Oh, it doesn't get any bigger. Um, 26%, 17% for two of them, 26, 49. NVDY is actually higher than Tesla. How about that? Tesla's been unseated as our number one dividend. Interesting. So, yeah, got a ton of good stuff on the Discord here. Lots of, uh, for us to get into technical analysis and trading, you all could knock yourselves out on some of these here. <laughs> it needs more screens. Anyway, okay, I just wanted to share that. So that's where we are. Um, again, two years as a YouTuber. Excited to see what year three brings. Um, let's see now. Bought some grayscale that should do good in the next crypto. Oh, yeah. If I did not despise JP Morgan, I would buy it. Horrible crooks, really. Uh, well, someone on this live stream actually used to work there. Um, grayscale seems like a scam. Why buy a crypto at such a high premium? <laughs> yeah, a lot of the big banks. I don't want to go down that rabbit hole, but, um, it's funny because it's like the whole war on drugs and money laundering and all of that. Uh, it's like the big banks and the big institutions were kind of all the ones behind it, but they're the ones that talk about defeating it the most. But how can you how can you beat it when you are part of it? Anyway, on that note, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for tuning in. Take care. Have a great evening, and we will see you all soon. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Bye.